Now, back in this challenge, I've tried a couple of calls to Slow Daddy or Sparkless, Sparkless, just to find out Sparkless. Does anything? Oh, wait, hang on. We have found something. Now, it's forbidden, but uh, thank you, Ed Individual Lead, for the hint that we have found Sparkless. Spark lace. And now we fast for the subdirectories. And we have a design. Okay, let's go to design. Why what? And we are redirected to uh Google with the solutions. Alright. <laughs> so the challenge is like you're so bad, you should go check out the solution. What's happening? HTTP slash slash boom. Okay, that's forbidden as well. All right, that makes sense. All right, so how do we access this forbidden stuff? No idea, but let's ask uh, the repeater what's, what is going on. The document has moved. Okay, so maybe it's just not uh, configured properly and we have to like add our HTML, that's not found. Maybe it's a PHP. Okay, it's taking longer, but it was not found. All right, you know what? If we can't find it, I know who can. Our fuzzer is fine. We have uploads. Now let's do a quick fuzz of uploads. You're right, maybe Ferox Buster would have been the better choice. But I also don't know if... I really want a recursive search it's at the design port. If we can find something with PHP. Let's try index.php. Barclays, not index, but like admin.php. Nice. We finally have a login. Is it at admin? No, that would have been too easy. We have like an upload.php. No. Oh. Okay, we have a login. Maybe the login data is like somewhere in the comments. It's also not sparkless. So how do we log in? I mean, we could try a brute force attack in here. It's not like it's going to lock us out, but I don't think that's the correct solution. You know what? Maybe it's even easier than that. Let's just do a quick SQL injection. No, it didn't work. You know what? Let's send this one to the intruder. I mean, I think that's going to take us forever if we do it like that. But uh, so the first one is the username. Or you know what? Let's actually just try it by, by trying to brute force the admin password. For that, we go to user share. Word list, I thought. And then we take the rock queue, because why not? And now we wait until it loads into Burp, because it's so many passwords that Burp is like kind of overwhelmed right now. Okay, this is taking forever. The rock QTXC crashed my Burp. Hello? Mm, okay, why didn't it load anything in it? I mean, I could understand it. If that's an issue with the community edition, but I have the paid edition to not have these kind of problems and I still have this kind of problems. I mean, what the hell? Okay. So this doesn't seem to be working. In fact, it looks like my burp has crashed, which is just so great. Let me close burp. This is the Linux version of the task manager. All right, let's restart Burp. Launch anyway. Okay. And so you sent this request. Check. Boom. And now we go to this one and send it to the intruder. Now in here, we try to have like the password for admin, right? Okay, let's try admin PHP. Username equals admin and password equals whatever we pass it now. Let's uh, go with the default passwords. 
and one of those should have a different length. They're all the same so far. None of the passwords seem to work. Nothing is working. I think I'm on the completely wrong track here in regards to how to enter into this machine. I mean, if there's an admin and login, maybe there is like a register or sign minus up. Nothing so far. We have the admin.php, which asks me for a username and password, which I don't know anything about. I mean, maybe it's just sparklies with the password sparklies. Oh, it's not. What's also weird is that a login form with a get. Now, this is already a huge red flag because you should never perform your logins via a get. You should use a host request for that kind of stuff. So maybe that, that, that could become interesting down the line or maybe it's interesting right now because there's some kind of way to exploit it. But why does it become interesting down the line? Well, because you can actually see the username and passwords in the logs of the web server if you do it like this. So once we get a foothold on the server, we will be able to have like a quick read of what passwords are there or there are. You know what? Maybe let's do a fuzzing of the root directory. Yeah, the index.php. I mean, I it can't be that I'm stuck on a cheap login screen. Come on, there should be an easier way for this. We have an upload file. This Let's see what other URL did we have or which other subdomain file did we have. So admin and then we had the sign and uploads, I guess. Oh, oops. Okay, so we do have nothing in here. Maybe we can find some images in here, but I have a kind of feeling that I'm on the completely wrong track. Let's try with PNG. Maybe if I do a spark, sparklaves.com, maybe that's the issue. No, nope, it's forbidden as well. But it's forbidden based on the host name. Forbidden. I get an access denied, even though it's a 200 error. Maybe I have to go to dev.vault.hd. Access denied, but the access is denied actively. Uh, it's not like a forbidden or a 404. So I'm not sure what to do here. But it's very weird because we get uh, the status is okay with an access denied. Whereas normally you'd get something like this where it's the message from the server itself. So maybe we try it with different host names. Maybe that's going to be the solution. Do we have, I don't like this. Let's load a list. I hope it doesn't like break everything. And we have the subdomains. All right. Now let's start the attack and see what we get with this attack. Yeah, maybe it's like a host based check. So it checks from which host the request comes. So I'm just trying to run an attack with intruder and maybe hopefully find something. We have a lot of requests that we have to work through. So thank you very much for joining in today. I will let this scan run and we'll see you in the next episode when the scan is hopefully done and see if we found something interesting this time. See you there. Bye-bye.